Donald Trump made a speech yesterday and he just totally embarrassed Colby Covington. I think they bring him up on stage like a fucking monkey, like a court jester, and they just kind of take the piss out of him a little bit. So we're going to break it down. If you haven't seen it, here it is. Dana White's a good friend of mine. He goes, his whole job is going around the world looking for tough people. And he told me that this is one of the toughest of all. I almost bet against him. I'd look at some of these guys. I say, look, I love Kobe, but I'm going to have to bet against him. The first thing we come to is Donald Trump talking about betting on Colby Covington. And he just makes the straight away. He makes the first statement that I love Colby, but I'm going to have to bet against him because he thinks he's absolutely dog trash. He thinks he's shite. Sorry, Colby. Love you, man. But we're betting against you. We don't believe in you. We don't really believe in you. Um, I'm probably only betting for you because you give me so much love and attention and you're bumming me constantly. I have to kind of give it back. But the truth is, I don't think Donald Trump believes in Colby quite like Colby believes in Donald Trump. But I didn't because I didn't have the courage and I bet for him and I won a lot of money with you. Hang the fuck on. What's he talking about? He's won a lot of money with him. Does he know that he lost his last fight? He's just a senile old man who doesn't know what he's talking about. Someone needs to whisper in his ear. He needs a fucking MMA advisor because he does not know shit. Donald Trump, if you're looking for that guy, come find me. I'll tell you what's good, what to bet on. Don't bother betting on Colby. That's for damn sure. Not going forward anyway, or in any title fight. But who would think, you know, I say, I look at him, looks like a regular, normal human being. <laughs> I mean, no one really wants to be a regular human being, do they? They want to stand out, and that is kind of the, the fucking story, life and story of Colby Covington. He was quite an average MMA fighter who had an average career and he was quite fucking boring and he invented this persona and still the president of the USA or former president of the USA, should I say, has just, <laughs> has, just, has just told Colby Covington in front of loads of people on a stage with him right there that you're just an average guy. Tremendous. Until the clothing comes off, then he looks like Superman. So we love you, and you're going to have a great fight coming up, and uh, we're going to be with you, man. But if I saw him in a bar, and let's say he was, I'm not a big bar guy, but that's okay. These are mine. And let's say he was a little in my way, I could see myself say, move over. So there's two parts to there. The first part is Donald Trump asserting his dominance, telling Colby, no, you fucking place, Colby, because if we were in a bar, I'd tell you, fucking move over. I don't care. How old you punch? I'm the fucking president, or former president. But I'd be in big trouble. I say to my son, do you think I could take Baron, who happens to be six foot nine? I said, Baron, do you think I could take Kobe if I were started working out for a couple of weeks? There's part of me here that actually thinks Donald Trump is fucking serious, and I really do think he's serious, and not in a way that where he actually thinks that he can beat him. The, the fact that... It's almost like he's trying to out-ego Colby because Colby's dumb, let's face it. He's fucking dumb. But he's kind of saying that I'm, I'm thinking that I could beat you and I'm 77 years old. So he's, he's, he's constantly putting Colby in his place. Like, no, you fucking roll, son. No, you fucking roll. It's, it's fucking incredible. Donald Trump has got some big brass balls, bigger than fucking Colby. He said... Dad, are you kidding? Are you kidding? They said, that's terrible. Anyway, we love you, man. Good. Champ. He's a champ. He is a champ. Thank you, Colby. And he ends the video there by calling Colby the champ when he will never be the champ. Ever. And don't ever bet on that because that is a bet that will never come in. So like, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one.